Hey guys, today we are making a beefy pepper jack casserole in our slow cooker all while having a whole lot of fun. So good. Camber Kitchen. I am Chris from Recipes at Crock.com and today I have got a treat for you. Many of you may have enjoyed our pepper jack chicken um, that we've done both in the slow cooker and then I believe we've done it in the electric pressure cooker as well. Um, and I know it is a very very popular recipe on the website so I got to thinking um, this time of year, particularly, a lot of readers ask me for um, ground beef recipes for quick and easy casseroles to put together in their slow cooker. And so I got to thinking, well, how would I make a version of our pepper jack chicken but make it more of a casserole with ground beef? And that got me coming up with something that definitely tastes quite a bit different than our pepper jack chicken but is so yummy and actually I took a vote last night with all the family and they all voted and said they actually like this ground beef recipe better than pepper jack chicken so um I'm going to show you how to make it because I'm super excited about it I know it's going to be a staple around here and it is low carb for my low carbers so what we are starting out with in our mixing bowl is two pounds of ground beef that has been browned already we used our make ahead ground beef um, I actually did the electric pressure cooker version cooked up four pounds divided it up and so I've got two pounds here um, and it is uh, just already crumbled up and in my bowl and to that I'm going to add a, a brick an eight ounce brick of cream cheese oh wait no before I do that I'm getting ahead of myself to that bowl I'm going to add an envelope of the au jus gravy this is uh, the same gravy mix that a lot of people use in the Mississippi beef roast so we're going to just mix this in with our ground beef to help give it some really nice flavor and I want you to keep in mind that we're using this when we add salt later on to the recipe because I don't want you to add too much salt because this has plenty in it. So we're just going to stir this brown gravy mix. We're not adding any water. Um, we're just going to stir the brown gravy mix into the ground beef until you don't see the mix anymore. And I apologize, I don't have an overhead camera. Um, we've had a few things going on at camp as we've gotten back on the road again, which I'll have, I'm sure there'll be a vlog to explain later, but that has Mikey not here right now, <laughs> which means when I went to go grab the GoPro to put over the Ninja and it said it was having problems, he's my camera guy and he's not here. So I'm just going to have to show it to you this way. So it just fully incorporates in there. It smells great. What we're going to do to that is then add an 8 ounce brick of super, super soft cream cheese. As you can see, I can just like scoop it up like that. So if you want to leave it out, you can leave it out for a while. I usually pop mine in the microwave. Depending on your microwave, it could take 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Um, just to make it super smooth because we want to incorporate it fully into this ground beef. And so we're just going to mix until everything's incorporated. Put that back there. When I shared pepper jack chicken years ago, I think, I'm not sure when I first shared it because we had been making it for years. It's been a, just something. It was one of those, uh, whatever I had in the fridge, I kind of put it together as kind of like a casserole kind of thing. Um, and I, and then I found a combination that we really loved. And so we just would make it that way. And then I realized I hadn't put it on the um, website. So I put it on the website and people went crazy over it because it is, it's really good together. And it's not something you would normally just kind of think of. So, um, so I am excited for people to try this version too, because this version um, definitely has a little bit of a different taste to it but has those similar flavors to it that I think people find unusual. 
um, but very, very good. Okay, so to this, we're going to add eight ounces of sliced and washed um, mushrooms. Now, if you don't like fresh mushrooms, you can definitely substitute out a four ounce drained can of mushrooms here. You don't have to use fresh. We like the flavor of fresh um, in this recipe, but you can do what you got to do. Um, I know some people don't really like fresh mushrooms. I don't think I ever had them in home cooked meals um, until after I met Mikey. He would always cook with them. And so we started cooking with those after I met him. It, when, growing up, mom would always use canned. So, okay, so we're gonna set this aside for a minute. So again, to recap, that's two pounds of ground beef, an envelope of au jus gravy, an eight ounce brick of cream cheese, and eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, fresh or four ounce drained can. And then now we're gonna move over to our slow cooker. Um, I'm making this in the Ninja. I'm, I've made it in the casserole crock too. It does just fine for cleanup purposes because there is some cheese involved. I like to use the nonstick on my Ninja, but I it wasn't that big of a deal to get it off of uh, my casserole crock. So you can use whichever you want. You can use a traditional slow cooker as well. It's totally up to you. So I have a 10.8 ounce bag of whole green beans. I um, also have a spider crawling across right above me. Give me a second. I'm glad Mikey's not here. He would be screaming at this point. Where did he go? Oh. Let's agree not to tell Mikey, okay? Oh my gosh, he just disappeared. I don't see him. Uh-oh. Um. Okay, well let's pretend that never happened. He's going to edit this and totally freak out on me, just so you know. Don't see him now. Okay. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> okay. Where was I? Okay. A 10 ounce bag of frozen green beans. They're still fresh out of the freezer. There's no reason to thaw them. Technically, you could use canned green beans if you want. I like using the whole green beans in this. You could use chopped. You can use what you want. If you want it to taste the same way as the way we make it, we use frozen whole green beans. And if you're using can, I drain it before I'm dumping it in there. So we're going to put that down. And then we have one bell pepper chopped into bite-sized pieces. Um, I like to use red, especially since this is pepper jack. Um, I just think it's pretty, and I think it's pretty in with the green beans, and I love the flavor of it. You can use whatever kind of bell pepper you want. You can use green, yellow, orange. It's up to you. So we just sprinkle those on. And this is where I want you to remember that your ground beef we're going to put on top is going to have a lot of salt in it. So you're going to just lightly salt these vegetables uh, before that topping goes on, which will definitely give it more flavor. If I had my pepper grinder with me, I'd also pop some pepper on there. But I do not because... It didn't make it into the trailer. I have a text message out to Mikey as he's running errands to tell him to bring, <laughs> bring us a pepper grinder home. But anyhow, now the ground beef mixture just goes on top and that is what is actually going to cook um, while our casserole cooks and we will top with cheese towards the end. You could add the cheese in this step. I have some girlfriends who are always like, we don't like doing an extra step towards the end, and I totally understand that. Um, the problem is if you put the cheese on right now, it's going to melt on down into the dish, which might be fine with you, but we like that ooey gooey cheesy topping. So um, that's up to your discretion. We're waiting to put the pepper jack cheese on until the very end. Okay, so I'm going to slow cook this on high for two hours. 
You can cook it also on low for four. Pretty much everything in here um, is fine to eat as is. We're just heating it up, softening up those vegetables a little bit. If you would prefer for your green beans to be more cooked and your peppers to be softer, you could add a couple hours on to either the high or the low. Like I said, we're gonna cook on high for two hours, low for four, or you could bump that up if you needed to, um, if you want your veggies even softer. We're gonna put the lid on and let that cook. And when we come back, we're going to put, gotta see what size cheese I have. Yeah, we're gonna put eight ounces, this is a double bag. Um, of sliced pepper jack cheese on top um, and we're gonna cover it all and let that cheese melt on top before we serve this up for dinner so um, I'll see you back here in three two one and we are back when you have about 10 to 15 minutes left with your cooking then you can grab your pepper jack cheese. We are using eight ounces of sliced, that's about 12 slices, and I'm just going to spread them out as much as I can over the top of the casserole so it can start melting. And you can just make it, um, you can overlap the cheese as much as you need to to make it work. Um, no one's going to complain if they get a little cheesy bite with their casserole. So it looks like six slices almost completely cover this in my Ninja. So I'm just going to cover all the seams with cheese and then double up a little bit. And you can do this however works for you. Um, I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to cover it so the cheese can melt some more. It's already starting to melt quite a bit. And we'll be back when it's nice and melty in three, two, one. And we are back. Our cheese is nice and melty. And everything is nice and cooked up. And so I'm going to scoop out a bite of this to come share with you. Oh, yeah. That looks delicious. So let's keep this. Let's turn that off so we don't keep melting our cheese. Here we go. You can see the pepper jack cheese on top. I get questions all the time. If you can use a different kind of cheese, you most certainly can. It just wouldn't be called pepper jack casserole. You can call it Monterey Jack casserole if you want to, or um, Havarti casserole if you want to, but it's very yummy. Um, so you've got the ground beef, which is nice and flavored, the mushrooms, the green beans, the red bell pepper. It's gonna be very hot. Very hot. It just has, whoo, very hot. Hmm, <laughs> that's burning all the way down. I shouldn't have took such a big bite right there. Okay. <laughs> um, it is very yummy though. Um, it. I'm sorry for the sounds outside. We're in a campground. I hope they get it started. That stinks been there done that anyhow green bean I love the green beans with the pepper jack uh, cheese it just gives a very good flavor all together very very yummy and then that red bell mm -mm -mm. oops so good and a one-pot meal you just put it on and it's done. Love it. If you like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the uh, Crock Posse, we'd love for you to become a member of our slow cooking family around here by clicking subscribe down below. If you would like notified every time we upload a video, click the ding -a -ling. That is the notification bell down below and YouTube will let you know every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, we hope you 
laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, guys. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.